Hello, my name is Alessio Bernadelli and I work at Crossacaglio School in Cambran. I'm here today to show you the math add-in for Word 2007 and how I use it to create and solve equations in physics and math. So let's get started. First you need to download the add-in. So, open your Internet Explorer browser and search for math add-in word in your Bing search engine. Now the first link should take you to the download page. Um, if you click download it will install the add-in for you. Um, now I've already installed it so if you then go back to your Word document uh, the math uh, add-in will appear in your Word document adds in on the ribbon. So click on it and click on insert a new equation. Say you want to solve the speed equation for example insert a new equation and type s equals then choose the fraction that uh, you want d over t obviously your equation is now ready to be solved in fact if you want to find the time instead select the equation by clicking on it and then click on the math button up there and click on solve for t and the equation, as you can see, will be rearranged for you directly. And now, stay tuned because in the next bit, I'll show you how to solve the equation having defined values for t and d. First of all, change your math preferences and tick the fixed decimal places. Then, change the number of decimal places to the number you want, in our case, 1. And now, let's insert a new equation underneath, um, and let's add values for distance and time. So I'm going to give you an easy one that you can work out in your head. Um, we're going to write s equals 8, then we'll add another equation, and t will be equal 2. Now, to find speed, highlight all three equations like this and then click on to solve for T S D that will return you the solution of the simultaneous equation pretty good huh? well if you feel that's cool brace yourself for what's coming next as you're about to discover how to insert 2D and 3D graphs into your word documents at the touch of a button And this is how it's done. First of all, insert a new equation in the usual way. And we are going to write y equals sine of x. Highlight the equation by clicking on it and click on the math button, then on plot in 2D. Here is the fun. From this box, you can do a bunch of great things to analyze your graph. You can decide how your display will look like by removing the axis, the values, and the grid. You can also change the plotting range by clicking on this button. You can zoom in and out by clicking on these two buttons. And you can even trace uh, the values of your graph. And if you pause it, you can now drag this callout to the desired value. Finally, click on insert and the graph will be embedded into your Word document and like any other image if you click on it you can resize it to your liking and if you really want to show off the next bit will excite you because you learn how to insert 3D graphs into your Word documents let's add this equation z equals x squared minus 2xy plus 5y squared. Now highlight the equation, click on the math button and plot in 3D. The same things you could do before applies, but now you can also rotate your graph about any of the three axes, clockwise or anti-clockwise. And when you like what you see, 
click the stop button to freeze the rotation and click on the insert button to insert the graph in your do Word document. We hope you enjoyed this tour of uh, math adding for Word 2007 today and that you'll be able to use this with the students in your classroom.